Right, so IMDB, Internet Movie Database, the website that we use to see what certain films are like in all the essential detail. Now, there's something specific about IMDB that we're going to talk about here in this video. The ratings. What's supposed to make us decide whether we're going to see a film we haven't seen before, especially when it's just come to cinemas, but it's worth it. Now, what I've noticed is that horror films generally have pretty low ratings on IMDb, including classics like the original Friday the 13th from 1980 at only 6.5 out of 10. Now we have It from 2017 at only 7.4. And the original Saw from 2004 at 7.6, which is pretty damn high for a horror film. But then the rest of that film series goes down as low as 5.6, which is doing for Saw 3D, the final chapter. Now how about a fairly recent film we found slightly unappealing for its series? One of the most famous ones I might add. The Last Jedi from 2017. Remember how crappy its reputation has been among its viewers, especially the most diehard Star Wars fans? The one with all the fucking porks and the shitty direction from Ryan Johnson. Yeah, it's really fucking 7.2. Hang on, no. The crappiest and most ridiculously directed Star Wars film ever cannot be that better from those horror films I just talked about. What? What's the logic here, IMDB? Is every single average horror film supposed to have a pretty fucking low rating than other genres? Is that it? Wait, no. It isn't just a general horror genre that gets this unfair reputation. Let's have a look at some animated classics that came out in our childhood. Like Chicken One, which is only rated 7, and Robots, which I fucking love, and is only at 6.3. And how about more recent films we've enjoyed quite a bit? Black Panther, at only 7.3, and even the Lego Movie 2, at only 6.9. But, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, I don't know if anyone, but that really wasn't my favourite film. Has got a pretty fucking high rating for a recent animated movie. 8.5. I wouldn't say it's a, that bad a film, but if it were a childish, cartoony, and silly for canon Spider Man film. But at least, Minions, a cartoon film that doesn't look that appealing at all, is rated 6.4. Right, that's 0 0.1 more than Robots, a film with far better writing, far less cringy, and far less annoying main characters. At least Michael Bay's Transformers are typically rated lower than what is so far my favourite horror film series. And that the fucking Emoji movie is 3.2. Well, some IMDB ratings I've come across make sense. 8.6 for Star Wars and New Hope. 8.8, 8.7 .8 and 8.9 for each of the Lord of the Ring films and 8.9 for Pulp Fiction. But a lot of the ratings on this website are pretty fucking low, with a fuckload of films worth seeing being no rated more than something like 7.2 to 7.8. So I'm just gonna summarise what we think of IMDB ratings just by saying this. If you want to predict just how worthy it is to see any film, try avoiding IMDB as much as you can, and go check out the Google rating instead, just like how we're going to. And no, if you're asking something like, what about having a look at Rotten Tomatoes? We're not going to look at it, because that website's pretty fucking biased too. Now, I think everything you've heard from us in a little review of the most popular media information website has been said right now. So that's the end of this video.